Okay, here I'm just going to do a couple more graphing problems using graph transformation. So, 56, we've got the function f of x equals negative the absolute value of x plus 1 minus 2. So, recall that the absolute value of x is just a v. Or, you know, it looks like a v. And so the plus 1, just like before, that's going to shift the graph. Since it's on the inside, that's going to shift the graph to the left one unit. The negative 2 is going to shift it down two units. And the negative is going to reflect it. Let's first off, let's, let's kind of do it in steps. So the absolute value of x plus 1, that's going to shift it to the right one unit. Now the negative of that is going to reflect it about the x-axis. So there's negative 1. Now it's going to be pointing down. So there's negative absolute value of x plus 1. And the last thing that we would need to do, once we just tack on the minus 2, that's going to move the graph down two units. So there's negative 1, negative 1, negative 2. So, and then it'll still have that same V shape to it. So that's all there is to it. Again, just sort of shifting, reflecting, and moving. Um, so that would be the graph of the absolute va negative the absolute value of x plus 1 minus 2. Next, we've got f of x equals the quantity 2x minus 1 all to the third power. So I'm thinking about x to the third. Remember that x to the third has that basic shape to it. I'm going to rewrite this a little bit. So we could write this as 2 times x minus 1 half all raised to the third power. And the reason why I'm doing that is it, you know, at the beginning, if you think, okay, this is going to be shifted one unit to the right because I see this minus one, that's no longer valid because the coefficient in front of the x is not a uh, just a one. So the shifting gets uh, gets changed in that case. But I can factor the two out, and I could rewrite this again as even two to the third, which is eight, and then I have x minus one half raised to the third power. So now by writing it in this way, I can see that my graph is shifted to the right one half of a unit, but it still has that same basic shape. It gets, you know, I should, it still has that same basic shape. It's going to get bigger faster though. When we put that 8 out front, so if this is x to the third, 8x to the third is going to get bigger faster and it's going to get smaller faster. So that would be 8x to the third. So same thing, you know, it's hard to, you know, obviously capture this without putting units on it. But it's definitely going to be getting bigger, faster. It's going to be getting smaller, faster. We can go ahead and find the y-intercept as well. Notice if we plug in x equals 0, we would have negative 1 half to the third, which would be negative 1 eighth. Multiplied by 8, that would cross at negative 1. So there's a rough sketch of the function, uh, the quantity 2x minus 1 all to the third. And you'll definitely see these graph shifting problems all the time. I don't think I have any on this worksheet. Um, there's none on this worksheet that are, deal with trig functions, but the same things apply to trig functions as well. So you need to know sort of that basic uh, parent function, as they call it, and then you're just still using the, the same compression, stretches, uh, translations, all that good stuff.